Hey everyone, this is Fernando doing a quick video for Modern Survivalist Pocket EDC update for November 2013, even though I am a little bit behind and doing it in, in December actually. I haven't really changed much actually, but I, th I still thought it would be good to go through it and see how things have been working for me and holding up as time goes by. First of all, the cell phone very happy with it, haven't done a proper video on it. I'm not really a tech nerd kind of guy. Uh, I do know what I want and appreciate stuff that works. The Galaxy Note 2 works and the, the Android system is so much better than the, the Apple uh, operating system. Definitely, as an ex-Apple guy, I mean, I really appreciate not having all those you know, even it seems political at some point, all the, the, the compatibility problems Apple has with everyone, having to use iTunes, all that stuff, which is really annoying in this time and age to have such problems when it should be so much simpler. You know, the ability of just putting a micro USB and connecting it to your computer, using it almost as a flash drive even, it feels, if I had to wrap it up, it feels much more like a computer you know, the Android operating system feels much more like a computer than uh, an iPhone. iPhone, it's, you know, iTunes, man, what a pain. And that would be the first thing that, that I noticed in general, not only in, in Note, but any of the Samsung phones. Second is the screen. The phone is big, and even though you lose a little bit in terms of practicality for having in your pocket and such, you do gain in terms of, of the screen. The screen being so big, especially for using internet in your cell phone, this is this is as good as it gets. There's already a Note 3, but I don't know there's there's that much of a difference in, in terms of improvements. There obviously is some, you know, a little bit faster, a little bit more, a better screen and such. But anyway, if you're just uh, thinking about it, it's th those advantages still apply. Finally, the, the battery. The battery is just huge. And even if you forget recharging your phone, uh, the following day, you will probably still have a little bit of battery left and get you through the day with light or moderate use. So those are the, the key advantages I find in the, in the Galaxy Note 2. Besides that, the ability of adding more, more memory as well, that's just it's just great. It seems like much like more of a um, a smarter, more practical, uh, trouble-free phone than Apple. Besides that, the OtterBox Defender case has been holding on very well, along with the screen protector. I had to get rid of the original screen protector that came with the OtterBox Defender because it was no good. You were losing a lot of definition actually, so I removed that and installed a, a separate screen protector. Wallet, same as before, uh, still looking for the, the perfect wallet, but this is pretty close in, in my opinion. It's, it's very good, has the pocket, has the, the slots for the card in, in this direction so that they don't fall when shaking it like that. So it, it's pretty handy, pretty nice, nice little wallet. The um, flashlight, uh, very happy with it as well. The Eagle Tac D25C. Very compact, very bright as well, almost 400 lumens in its maximum output mode and has low, medium, high, strobe, SOS, moonlight mode which lasts for days. Very, very happy. Tough too, it went into the, the washing machine, forgot it in, in my jeans and it's still working. No, no problems really. You know, just one of those things that you can honestly recommend to people. It's compact. Yeah, it does use the CR123A batteries, which are a little bit less common, but you do gain in terms of, of brightness. It's, you know, very compact. The clicky interface, I find it to be more useful than, uh, than the twist interface, which, you know, it's okay. It's very rugged as well, but it's not as handy as, you know, clicking on it. That's simply better at least for me. At the same time, the button is recessed so it can stand, not only stand on the tail, which is another function that you may find useful, especially during blackouts using your flashlight like a little candle, but also it's less likely to be engaged by accident in your pants, which has happened to me with some of the tactical flashlights that have a button that's a little bit more protruding on the side.
It's a uh, one of uh, I saw that there's a, a titanium version which would make a, a nice uh, Christmas present if you have someone that that would appreciate it. You know, just uh, a little bit of, of uh, lanyard here for when you don't want to be dropping your flashlight for whatever reason. Bright color so as to make it more noticeable and uh, cord and whistle as well so as to have a whistle there. In terms of, of knives, having the Boker Plus Trans 42 and the Swiss Army Victorinox German Army Knife blade, saw, bottle opener, cap lifter, and screwdriver as well. I think it's also a can opener if you put a little bit of force, of force into it. Corkscrew, small a flat screwdriver, and ram or punch or owl, whatever you want to call it. Pretty good size as well. Car keys, same as always, the Lillerman, um, sorry, saddleback leather, uh, keychain, a little token for the carts. Haven't done my project of actually putting a coin in there and trying it out. Uh, Boker Vox Titanium Pry Bar with a cap lifter and glass breaker, which is not getting really much use lately, but every once in a while it does come in handy, so that's why it's still being still left there. Also being a part of the car keychain, it makes sense to have something uh, for breaking windows with a glass breaker over here. It's better than not having anything at all. And I don't know if this was here already, last time I did this, uh, a small um, uh, you know, button cell LED light. Why having it here in spite of having a, a flashlight in my pocket all the time? Well, because uh, sometimes when, when parking the car in the garage, if the lights are not turned on, I find it more useful to just, you know, I already have, I park the car, I'm in the garage and just pressing it like that gives me a little bit of light and I don't have to go into the pocket and get the bigger flashlight so <laughs> that's at least why at least it, it does make sense for me same keychain uh, as before for uh, the house keys and such titanium peanut lighter um, Victorinox mini champ, midnight mini champ pico pry bar another small pry bar here and Phoenix LD01 flashlight as a backup flashlight for the bigger one. And I also have a SanDisk small USB drive here with important information, files and such. It's a very compact little USB drive, really, really small, doesn't bother you at all. And I was re recently writing in my, in my website, in my blog, about squatters people that break into houses install themselves in there and you come back from holidays or whatever and you find people living there and it's a it's a, a problem that it may take quite a bit of time to resolve that's why it's important to have proof of ownership of your property documents that prove you bought um, a, a car uh, you're renting you, you or a title of a property all that should be kept in a small USB drive with you in your keychain, along with a, a pile of other important documents that you can scan and keep with you at all times. That's something that you know not a lot of people do, but it can be pretty important. It, you know, everything from work documents, a ID, copies of your passport, in there. In terms of of lighter, using the the Zippo with the Thunderbird insert. Thunderbird insert has been holding on pretty well actually. Let me show that to you guys. There it is. Did a review of it. I, I filled it up when I did the review. Haven't had the need to refill it since then. So I can at least say that it's been holding on the, the fuel pretty well. It's not leaking, at least not in, in any considerable manner and happy with it. I mean, it's a, a great solution for ha using your Zippo without having to refill it often, the smell, the leaking, and, and having the flame there when you need it. The watch still, the Casio Protrek Triple Solar Titanium PRG250T. <laughs> yes, a mouthful of a name. A little bit more scratches, dents here and there, a little bit, especially here in, the, in this bezel. 
I don't know, it, it does a ton of things, altimeter, barometer, compass, surprisingly the thing that I'm using the most besides obviously the, the time is that little chart there, the little graphic, the barometric pressure chart for each point, each little dot, each little pixel there, it's like two hours, so this basically shows you the barometric pressure that you're having during the day in the last um, six, what was it like? No, like 12 hours, the last 12 hours should be. Yeah, because it has one, two, three, four. So basically you have an idea of, of, the, of the barometric pressure going up or going down and how fast it's going up or how fast it's dropping. Soon enough you get a hang of it and you, you understand how the weather is gonna be like during the day. For example, right now it's holding on and it's gonna be remaining pretty much the same. If it's cloudy as it is right now, this means that it's gonna be still cloudy in the, in the you know, maybe the, the few, the following few hours. If it starts dropping very fast, it means that weather is gonna be getting even even worse. If it starts going up a little bit, as you see it here, it means that there's a slight improvement in weather. Uh, you know, going up very fast or a very steep. A graphic means that weather is going to be improving very much. If it goes down very fast, probably rain, not only rain, but also a storm if it's dropping, dropping like noticeably so. So you soon enough get a hang of it and you, I mean, it's one of the most useful function I've, I've, I've had in, in a watch. Very nice to have an idea of how weather is going to be looking during the day. And actually in my jacket, I also keep these two. Uh, a little bit of Lero's Magic Tignora cord, very strong, as strong as 550 paracord, which I sometimes have in my pocket, depending on the pants I'm using, but also goes in, in the jacket, and uh, an extra lighter uh, clipper lighter. Depending on where I am, what I'm doing, especially when I come back home, I will usually uh, leave behind, I have the, the table here, so I will just uh, remove some of this stuff from my pocket, especially the, the wallet and cell phone from, from my belt, the rest of the stuff stays in the pocket, but it will probably be trading these for a better knife, like the Cold Steel Voyager Large or the Extra Large Voyager as well from Cold Steel, which is much, much better knife, and leaving behind the uh, GAC knife in favor of the Lerman Charge TTI. The usually, and of course, depending on what it is that I'm doing, these would of course be be better, more practical, more more useful tools. But I'm not. I'm really happy enough with these two. If that's what I have to stick to, giving the circumstances or giving whatever it is that I'm doing. So guys, that's basically it. As always, more stuff coming up later. Take care. Have a great day, and see you on our next video.